practices. Let's look at an example practice plan. You can see here I've got it worked out down to the minute. We'll start with a warm up. Generally, I'll encourage everyone to grab a ball and we'll do some sort of dribbling, maybe a light passing exercise. Some players will be late, and so it's good to have the warm up exercise being something that when people drop into it, it doesn't become distracting. Then we'll have a quick water break and we're going to split the team into groups. In this case, two groups so we can run through the two circuits that are coming next. When doing this, I'll keep in mind ability, interest level and behavior. Some groups will work better together. They'll push each other harder, generally when they're at the same level. Then from 12 to 30, we'll have 12 minute segments in each circuit with enough time to switch over and make sure that works. From 30 to 35 minutes, we've got a water break and a social. During this time, I'll step back completely. And it's a time for myself and my assistants to have a brief chat about how things are going and how we're doing. I like to give the players some social time together so they can build the bonds of teamwork together and make those friendships. Then, in this instance, we're going to do some relay races. One thing I really picked up is kids love relay races, especially in that U8 to U10 group. You get two teams or three teams, and you build up some fitness that way. Then we're going to do a team drill. This will be positioning on goal kicks, or positioning on throw-ins, or something like that. Uh, even down to positions on the field. Then we'll have a scrimmage. It's always a good thing to enter a scrimmage. Generally, the players look forward to it the most, so it keeps them going throughout the practice. And after all, that's why we're here, is to play soccer. Um, and then we'll wrap up with some water break, a little team chat. Here's the game that's coming up. Here's what worked really well last game. Here's what we need to work on next game, type of thing. One other tip I can give you is when you're building out practice plans, Sometimes you want to give the players what I call player's choice, which is for 10 minutes, they just pick whatever they want to do. I found that they will do things in this that you can see where their level is, where their interest is, and either just carry on letting them do it or incorporate it back into your practice plans.